What do we need our engineers to be? What do we need our engineers to be? We want our engineers to be listening. When we are small, we are told by our parents, put our young girl two years and one month. Two years and one month. Have you heard that before? So listen, listen, listen. Listen with an open mind. And speak up when required. That's why I ask you to speak up. So that I'm going to ask you some questions, you have to speak up. If you don't speak up, you don't speak up, that will be fun. Right. Speak up when required. Be always in a talking mood, but not a devil mood. Devil, not that. We are required to do, you have to be always with the right talk. And always in a mood to talk, not to go behind and never be able to No way. Engineers speak. There's some Russian words that doesn't mean that you tell not, but you have to speak sense. In my second lecture, I will talk to you how to speak French. How right? Right to that uh, exact part. So today we are going to concentrate on the production of the Right well. Now this is something I really am not very really happy about how young it is. Sorry. I said that is I I tell this to your face. Right? I don't want to go from here telling you nice stories. You know what? I don't want you to believe me, I'm a nice guy. I'm a very nice guy. The same time I tell you to your face directly, not to embarrass you, but to make you realize your business. So second lecture, I do a lot on how right well. And we want engineers to write well. Right? Clearly and logically. That's very important. You are right to it clearly and logically. In whatever they write, they are to be fiercely careful about the thing. They are my boss who always just tell me, Shabi, don't write unnecessary things. Don't write things that you do not know. And if you cannot substantiate and defend, don't write anything. It's rather better that you don't write anything. They are writing something foolish and later try to be trying to be settled with that letter and you can achieve it. <coughs> if you want to make a blunder, you can, you can make a blunder by talking. But nobody will understand or nobody will realize. And even if somebody is you say that, that, that I you can not say that I'm okay, okay. Take all you can say. I don't say that. I don't believe in that in life. At least you must say, yes, I may have made a mistake, I'm so sorry. But when you go to right, nobody can ask you if you're right or wrong. They'll take you to court and you're okay to court. That is the life that you have. You make a mistake, your repercussions can be very high, very severe. So better be careful in what you write. Good manners. Of course, when I am doing this exercise, I may do some bad words. Right? But, in an office at a meeting, you are not supposed to be using bad words. I have heard wrong people say, what the hell man? Right? I have heard people say, hell is a So these types of words you have to avoid. So, at, at, at least a meeting, you don't talk about it. Right? So, these are things that we are used to, but we got to take away from those things, and I'll be dwelling on that later in the second lecture. But good manners is always very important. Not to be over mannerism, there are some people who say, Yes, sir, you, sir, thank you, sir. For every word that you say, you thank you, sir, no, sir, thank you, sir, please, sir. You have to Listen. But use the right kind of words at the right time in good measure. Don't go to them, but have to tell us. Right? And be very courteous. <coughs> That's what people look up to engineers. You dress well. I'm not so dressed well today, I think I'm about 90% alright. 
I would have preferred it quite nice if they were even talking about market. Right? So that was about small to put it after seeing that. I was in a hurry to come with this uh, diary, I couldn't even uh, have time to read uh, us this diary. And I preferred about uh, an inch longer this time. You've got to be very careful about every detail of your business. I know today most of you have not come here, come from office, they come uh, not to catch your interest to uh, attend this lecture. No problem. No problem. This sort of formal event. But when you go for a formal event, for the other thing, please, have seen in this particular place, people come with slippers, and sometimes they think they're enough to wear a tie, slippers, tie, short sleeve. And one day somebody called me and said, the second meter tie of the system and 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 the second meter tie of if you want to have a Sutta Kanduma, I'm probably dressed like a Sutta. Not a beer man Sutta. That is beer man Kanduma. Correct? I'm not making any mistake, right? I'm very, very open with you. If you want to help me, help me now. And really help me, don't help me with you. Do anything that you do perfect. But it's time to make it perfect. As much as you. Right? Press well. That's a small present of what 12 slides. I'll do that uh, in the second lecture. Read well, read well, read well, read well. I can't have any more words for you. You may talk for the next half an hour, half an hour, say read, 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 read. I am not be still satisfied. Because, why? When we were small, my mother was in this city. Unfortunately, I had to, before I go to school, and you read one page or one paragraph in each. She insisted. When you are small, I am sure there are people who, are, who will still remember your parents insisting on reading. And that's an age old thing that <coughs> reading makes a man perfect. Or now these days, Nobody reads. I'm shocked. I'm truly shocked. There was a guy in my staff, what is the officer, the tech manager in front of the office. I got him to uh, read something from the document and correct it. And after that time, my project uh, manager came and said, I just can't read this paper. I said, why? I gave this book to read and correct to the lecture, look at what they have done. He has read the first two pages, the last two pages, and he will read nothing. They are so busy. Right? Why? Now people are not used to reading. I paid all my engineers. And then you can go to read. Most of the time. And do want something else. Then you work in the country. Most of the time. I tell everyone, your job is 50% reading, 50% work. And make sure that they do that. Wherever I go, I, I, I force them to read a paper and make a presentation to the entire staff. Then I know that they are ready. They can talk. And I have forced them. A lot of people don't like in the beginning. And, and uh, believe me, in the end, they all love it. They all love it. But they know they have how much they have improved by reading. When I say read, you know, you don't, I don't think we expect you to like uh, the good old days like what we need, read story books or read uh, books or other kind. That's so much of me. 
absorb all these things in which way. That so you tell us, absorb what you hear. And you have no business to throw away the journals that come your way and read the journal articles that are interesting. No way. I'm not missing words. You can do that. No problem. You'll also be disheartened. No problem. But very soon, you will be found out as a person who doesn't know what he's talking about. And you know what happens to those people? They are putting that story in the what you call the cold story. Nobody is coming to their power. Nobody is looking after them. And when you go for any expulsion, nobody is going to come after them. You see your okay. So reading cannot be substituted by anything. Technical reports. If it interests you, go ahead and read. Please. I'm making this appeal to you because I know that a lot of people are not told by your seniors, your juniors, your parents, your peers, the value of reading anymore. Anymore. Is that so? You are with me? Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Ah, don't say yes, so say the way of asking. I'm sure you agree with me because I don't think people in Europe are ready for reading. When I say read, I don't expect you to read all these technical things. I uh, ask you to read something new, something interesting. <coughs> and you are reading a very script. You learn something. Journal articles, read. Technical papers, read. You are used to read. That's important. Work hard. No substitution for working hard. You can't bluff your way through as an engineer and hope to achieve something substantial in your life. If you want to be a successful engineer, if you want to be a successful car engineer, that's no substitute for working hard. That will love it. I know the guys who are like two ladies. The wives will think. Try to make them understand you are not doing any crowd job. Sometimes the job runs for 16 hours. Sometimes it will be 2 hours. When I was the army, I was just a bitch. I told my friends at the time, I'm an engineer, I'm doing shift work. Sometimes I will do 24 hours shift. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? So, they will ask for money. Then they will suspect. You start hiding and being all kinds of excuses. I also give excuses when I feel a friend and when I have a And I am too power, you know, when you go on. And right, they are lying, she knows the last time. But they have six cells. Ladies have six cells. And there are a few ladies around. And they, they will be really happy to hear that. We have devices that to make, but it does exist. From the kilometer away, they know that that comes after uh, a Right? So you don't start any life to your wife as well. But leave your cards properly. <coughs> Are you ready to be challenged? Yes. Are you? Yes. Are you? Yes. Ah, good. This is what you said. Now, are you ready to face that? Now? Yes. Yes? Yes. Ah, good. Not as ridiculous as that. Yeah. That's what I'm buying, right? <coughs> Don't be scared. I have faced much more challenges than this. I have faced honorable contentment and he has promised to break my neck in my bed cell. He tried to kill me by joining my house, till I am alive. You can check this thing. There was a guy who came uh, around with a project with a uh, two and a half uh, feet long, uh, uh, what five inch, uh, five inch, uh, uh, two five inch, and we can have a moral. Get out. Get out of it, right? He was only with us. And the girls were around. No one stopped him. I didn't stop him. I have faced all these challenges. If I have faced, why can't you? 
So when you face, there are two things that you have to do. First you have to say, you face the challenge, say, I'll be very sincere with you, right? I'm very, very honest with you. I'm not using my words. Any challenge you can face, first you have to believe in yourself and tell everybody, if I can't do that, who can do that? If I can't do, who can? If you believe in that, you can take care of that. I'm going to show you a small video clip if it's possible to do it today. Right? You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Believe, if I can't, who can? That's the first thing. But after you face the challenge and win that sumo fight, right? When you win the sumo and punch him in his face, be humble enough to say, be humble enough to say, if I can, who can? So you are really intelligent. You are really intelligent. Right? We have gone through the same education, we have gone through the same formation. We have the same time. And some of them you will do this. Some of you will pretend you are a senior. Please, please be very humble <coughs> after you achieve something. Be humble enough to say, if I can, why can't be? If I can, who can? So two things in mind. We all make the challenge. If I can't, who can? After winning the challenge, if I can, who can? Hopefully the other one will play now. Now let me beg your indulgence. This happened on the 11th of March, 2008 this year. I could have where someone can. After this, believe me, my wife was angry for today. Right? Hopefully this will play. <coughs> and this happened just two weeks after a lady died. I tried to You recognize the fellow? That fellow was 63 years old. If that fellow can do that, why can't you do? If that fellow can do at 63 years, why can't you do? Right? So there's nothing that is impossible. I was determined to climb down the eight story building, firmly believing in myself. If I cannot, who can? I did it. I did it much to the astonishment of my staff. I feel much more confident of myself and I feel 10 years younger. Right? So don't feel bad about facing challenges. So your biggest challenge perhaps seems to be the part of the video. Right? So in the process now I have been talking to the video properly. And we have been interacting with the the IES survey test candidate from Tokyo is professional experience and knowledge on general issues faced by engineers and the society in the world. Right? So the profession itself, I've talked about all the three components, has three components. You know that most probably have. The Vaivahose, we call it Vaivahose. In that, Vaivahose means taking the it's an oral examination and 
it means, as I said, get in words what you know. So people want to hear from your own voice how you tackle a certain problem, what was your uh, qualification, what you have been doing all this time, and maybe you have to explain your design. And that we are going to judge you, your confidence level. Right? I know of a young engineer. In my own opinion, he was a wonderful leader, meticulous and uh, thorough in his work. But unfortunately, he has faced the interview size. Still, he has not been able to pass the interview. And third time, some of these uh, colleagues are known to be who interviewed him. What's wrong with that? I'm going to be such a good engineer. What's the use? If you cannot even explain at an interview what you have, what you are capable of doing. If I ask him to pass him, and I pass him with slight help, a normal person. But the guy who's going to interview him doesn't know him personally. So you have to show confidence that you are capable of doing this, that, and the other. Right? So, why was it very important? And go there with confidence. A paper. We test you, uh, prepare, uh, on a paper prepared specifically on, based on interview and interview experience. Use that period. So, here, okay, once again, when you write a report and when you when it can check you on your report, on what you have done, you have to do this. Right? I think you wondered as I said before, and checking your authenticity of the I I I universal. Right? And uh, we came out the nice nice report. And from the immediately after uh, 21 to get signed that I'm sure that this Dr. Work that he has done was that's what is correct. So he came with confidence. This is talker, good talker, nice talker, sweet talker. I am going to mask this was wrong and passing. I have to I feel ask you questions. Though he was a good talk and he was willing to convince me, he just could not convince me that it was his gaming work. So I will yeah, write me a picture of uh, the photo or not, maybe you are writing up. Please don't write things that you have never done. Very soon this experienced guys can identify what is your work and what is not your work. And the second problem is the A paper is based on your report and your knowledge. Doctor. Maybe you can squeeze out and uh, pull us and half. But if you have to ask, write something based on what you have done, and if that is the work that you have not done, you are going to be So, is that a good idea? Never come to my interview panel. I am a seasoned veteran interviewer. Number one, number two, I know by looking at the report, we are tested. And there are so many things, so many interviews, and there are so many uh, uh, questions for the A paper. I exactly know how to check you as it's your work or not. So we can. That means some of the uh, people also like it. So we can give you. We give you. I'm sure you when you have done four years or five years of work, there's something to say. Don't think you know, recently uh, the academy asked me uh, that he gave me three projects that he has done. And he thought from himself that in none of those projects stand up to the level of a, uh, what you call project design. That's what it is to check on the point of later. I said, why not? Why don't we pick up this point or the other, other topic? I don't think it's uh, good enough. I said, no, it's good enough. But I know the sad. Why don't we go? He sent the report from me to her. Believe me. He passed the debate first time. He passed the Ava first strike, Ava first strike. He passed the Rai Jose first strike. And I heard that the interview panel has told your project report is exemplary 
where I show this theory, uh, report to your colleagues to show them how to write a good paper on your project. This is the project that this guy told me is not worthy of being told or written for a project. So which means, I'm sure you have an offer. So collect your thoughts. Don't laugh. Capitalize on something that you have done well. So don't uh, be a unhappy about what you have And uh, be uh, confident of what you have Right. So the A paper you know, Y O C you know, B paper. Now B paper is what we are talking, talking about today. And the B paper is aimed at testing the candidate's knowledge on two things. Engineers' knowledge in the society and general affairs. A knowledge of society and general affairs. What do we examine at B paper? I, I set a lot of questions for BPM. And I have been setting for the last 10 15 years. In Engineering Council UK, there is a subject, specific, a specific subject called Engineering Society. I don't know if any of you have done that. Engineering Society. Very often the Sri Lankan engineers fail. Not only because of our cultural differences, also because they don't do what British engineers do in England. Right? We sometimes are very good engineers as I said before. We confine ourselves to engineering and we don't look at left or right. Once again there was a very senior engineer who uh, looked at the map in one of my projects. Drew a road. We had to cut a road to from the point A to B. Right? And after drawing the road, the coming front, the seat very close. Right? <coughs> when the survey went to uh, survey, you know that we can pass it. Mommy gave you a bar, then come on. So there was sort of uh, friction. And they are about to assault the surface. I took it really to be told, told, it's quite You know, I'm going to try to say this. Very <coughs> experienced senior. He has drawn the road. Probably has drawn this place for the right. In the back, you know, all this uh, success or not. After a discussion with these people, believe me. Along the surface. These people showed us a path. Believe me. Not a single house was broken except for one laboratory. laboratory. Earlier there were five or six houses to be broken. Demolish. Finally, we end up demolishing only one. Oh, yeah. And the path was shorter by about 200 meters. So we have That engineer is important. He is considered as one of the best in the country. You ask any senior engineer for a tough work, they go and read that person. He will do it. Go and read that person, he will do it. Maybe he does it. But this is what I thought. Because we do engineering to the best of our ability without looking at the circumstances in which we are working. Maybe he decided to run to the best one that is the best one in the world. Maybe he had a dad given the location that we best is at that time. Best dad in the world. But when it comes to road, he forgot the fact that we are dealing with people. But we are dealing with people. We must offer the least inconvenience to the people if we can. Why not? That's the first story. The second story. 
Monday we have some that 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 around the middle. Somebody came, uh, take an appointment with me. Uh, I didn't know who this person was. Uh, when he came, uh, he was very good. He was working in in uh, England. Uh, they were coming for they were going company for different uh, reasons. Very decent, very nice. He spoke very well and said. I came to ask you uh, for a favor. That's a small problem. You have uh, designed a line to go right across my uh, my ancestral property in Kandy and right over my barn. And I have a coconut plant, I have a, a cocoa plantation, and I have coffee and all those things in my garden. If you want, please come and see my garden. And these people have designed the line right across my yard and going over my hour. These people don't be big balls. So I listened to him. I did get an answer. I said, okay, let me my engineers go with you and look at. Then he said, sir, I can uh, I can propose you an on trade book. Right? But if you can check this to any letter in the city, at least the people who are talking about it. They went along with it and they found an ordinary path very close to a boundary. You are willing to sacrifice for 200 trees for sake of the Balao and, and, and the, the light going right across its uh, ancestral box. For you and I, this house. What now is a answer a prestigious thing? People don't read big Balaos now at all. Maybe he's trying to bring some one from the answer, but I don't care. I didn't care because of that. I care him because he's a human. That time my English came and told me, sir, you are right. We can adjust the road, light road, and save a lot of money by way of compensation loan. And in the compensation loan, the difference of about 2 million rupees. They had to make numbers for that all those trees. Of course, the Valao was not being broken. But just that's the life going over the Valao. Right? And how, what impact uh, it would have made? So, we are dealing with people. So, engineers have to do their work properly. At the same time, you have to be aware of what is happening around. So, therefore, we are testing you on your response to society. We at ISL call it B-paper and we test the knowledge on general issues faced by engineers and the society they work, they work in. But we have a syllabus which is very, very wide. I am sure you have seen the syllabus. And relate to day-to-day -day issues we as engineers face in society. Right? How many have looked at it? Show me hands. B-paper, anybody looked at it? Show me hands, 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 up, 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 up. How many have seen? Put your hands up. Why have you not seen the video? You are going to see the video video about two months back? Please. Immediately go to the CV website or something. I do a site of uh, uh, come here to be show you some past papers. It's very really important that you look at this uh, past papers. Then you get into the thinking pattern of what we are going to check you It's very important. Right? Then I think we have a, on the web about three years worth of these introductory lectures. I'm sure I am not being I am not being uh, I am not being uh, shown live because uh, I think these are all recorded and shown. I don't care. I don't want people to see my face. At least they can hear me, that's all right. Right? So all these lectures are in the website. How many of you have listened to these lectures? At least some of them. No one. No one. One, two. Do you like it? Good or bad? Good or bad? Good. So take a few. My two guys have seen the lectures. What are these things, Jack? I'm in the game and uh, I haven't seen this guy. And hardly I saw him. He said, uh, Sister, I know you. I said, How do you know me? I've seen you in the ISL website. Where have you seen me? I said, I've listened to your lectures in the website. 
and I like you boiling all the late comes to the front process. That's how the deep static said. You know? So please, not for the sake of uh, seeing my face, and if you are reading, uh, listen to those topic lectures, and some of those lecturers have already read on it. If someone can tell you about the uh, lecture he died about a year ago, right? On economics. I couldn't have found I I had I couldn't have found a better lecturer in economics than someone can. Right? Then there was Nihar Rotriku, a veteran uh, diplomat, the uh, best diplomat we have ever had in this country. I did not take him this lecture anymore because he said he needs uh, to uh, receive not to take this lecture anymore. So you have this lecture still on the on the other way. Uh, on our way. Right? Please take some time to Uh, it, it's um, uh, time to read those, uh, listen to those lectures, right? Uh, this talk, otherwise, it's been disturbing us. Probably, sorry, give me a minute. Actually, you guys are very good, you're not uh, disturbing anyone. Right. So, listen to those lectures if you're not done so. Are you aware of the structure of the BPM? Is there anybody who is not aware? Is, who is aware? The structure of the how it is uh, organized? Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen how do you know the structure? Has anyone told you what the structure is at least right now? Someone is talking here, sir. Ah, what are you doing? Come on, come on. You are not in there. I have a question for you. The last one? Come on. Don't be shy, man. Come on. Come on. You are going to be in charge of this. I don't want you to be in charge of this. Come on. You know the structure of the bigger? That's it. Not Excel. Tell me what you know. Come on. Tell me your name and tell these guys who you are. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Right. I'm who are you? I'm Gashan. Huh? I'm Gashan. From? Uh, I'm uh, Where are you working? I'm working at uh, Defensive Cards. Ha! Huh. My God. <laughs> Tell what you know of the B structure of BPM. Yeah. You have a CCB, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. There are two parts. Uh -huh. uh, I have seen one paper. Nah. In this paper, I I have 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 two questions nah. uh, from part A. Yeah. And then altogether 12 questions were there. Yeah. Uh, I never can I think first two questions uh, regarding the um, ethics of the engineers, then others were uh, related to the society <coughs> of the engineer. That was I observed. So he that is the paper. Yeah. So, good. Okay. The guy shot, right? Thank you. So, I don't need to say anything. You heard from your own colleague. So, this part has two, two parts. Part A and part B. And part A has two questions. And one is from her. And those two questions are uh, related to code of conduct of A. Which we commonly refer to as code of A. And then we get to done by, I think, uh, Russell Vizina, one of our very senior, very honorable gentleman, who was the secretary of the institution for quite some time, and the best of experience. This is it. Right? So those two pictures, at least one, not, not at least one, one is compulsory of the two. And the rest of them, they have maybe have about, as you say, about 10 questions on general topics. Right? You have to ask the only thing. So, <clears throat> I have written something that is uh, like this. You have not protected it. Has there anybody who has protected this question? No. I will give you a promise. If you go through the papers and if you pick up a question, 
and write your answer and send me to my email address. Within 24 hours, I'll try to share it back to you. That's a promise. I want to help you. Sometimes the subject matter is something that I don't know, I try to do it for my bed. Do it for me. Okay? That's not only that. Now, these days are, of course, in, in our time, we were called it Kupi. Right? You know what Kupi means, right? All the young guys who are master of prison, we know what Kupi means. At our time, we were called it Kupi. What do you mean, Kupi? You get together, discuss something, not really, but common thing. But in this case, you are all maturity. What I want you to do is possible. Get together with some of the friends. Share some questions with each of them. They say, one of you get together, share four questions. I say, if you give me two days or three days, you write your arts and come for the event. To meet on another day, come here, some days we need better. Your wife will tackle you, put it in. Bring a cup of tea. Good cup of tea and discuss your answer. You will learn a lot, but you are going to learn how each person is looking at the question. And sometimes you may be a simulator, somebody does, other one may be a great engineer, the other may be a great engineer. You are, they are sharing their views and experience in their own field. This is extremely important for you, engineers. This is the last time that you can ever do this. You know why? So after you get your chart, uh, whatever I may say, you are going to do that, and you are going to improve your big head, and you are a car engineer, you can't be going and discussing these things with the lesser mortals. You are not going to do that. Practically, that's not possible. So, this is the time, all of you have the same code, all of you have to the beat paper, right? So, get together and do something together, share your experiences, discuss the way that people have written their answers, you find the roots of the bad, as well as other person, others find the roots of the bad of your question. Then, definitely give you different points of view, how to handle uh, this question. We are an ideal opportunity, make this an excuse to do that. You are not going to improve, your, not only improve yourself, you are also going to improve your friend. So this I am telling you in all other listeners and when I go and do this lecture in now station, they are very much thankful to me for suggesting this and later on I have heard people coming and saying, Sir, we are very successful in our exam because you told us to uh, share our views. And we did that a couple of times and we passed the BPEB in one shot. So BPEB structure, I don't need to go through this uh, <clears throat> over and over again. Here we are uh, checking you, the this, this one, communication skills. One time, once we are going to check you on the Viva Bose, A paper we don't check so much on the grammar and things. Right? We are a little bit lenient on that. But be paper, we are extremely careful about your communication skills. But we don't want the child engineers to be ridiculed and found for it when they go to the field and start making blunders. Not only on the content and the value, but also on the way that you express yourself. Right? So very be careful. We are looking at the communication skills. And we have got a structure, right? I think we give only uh, 60 marks for your content, 20 marks for your grammar, about 20 marks for the context of it. How we have put the, uh, the question down. So we have some time. And for each session, we have 50 percent. And recently, I created a person uh, having almost 49% of the marks. So the content was so good. So I said, we have for the graduate high school. And uh, expected of the legal company, and you got 10 percent uh, because it's done also to be, let's say, 
a unique fit to come. Right? So I failed that class because his grammar was horrible. Horrible. He just could not express words. Uh, so written paper B would be of three hours duration and will consist of two sections. Uh, section one will be engineering beyond engineering ethics and code of conduct, whilst section two will be on topics based on issues uh, taking place in society, both local and foreign, and in other spheres other than engineering that has direct impact on society. So we are going to test you on engineering as such. You have it tested your engineering uh, on at various stages. Out of the questions in section two, some of the questions will depend will be on topics of general nature like economics and gender issues and so on and so forth. Where specific knowledge about the area su area subjected to the question is not necessarily required. So we are going to judge your ability to analyze a common topic. Candidates are usually asked to analyze, express opinions, comment, giving views and elaboration etc. on certain issues taking place in the society. A candidate who is generally sensitive to what is taking place around him and who can form his own opinion about them should be able to answer these questions without difficulty. The other questions will be on specific uh, subject area and for like your roads and telecommunication energy as well. So I said this. I must this. Ask this. Sometimes I give an argument and ask for your opinion. Unless your opinion is absolutely quiet or out of context. Even if your opinion is diametrically opposite to my view, I have for no reason give you marks. You will get marks. So I am happy that I have made you think. I am happy that you are you are made to think and form your own opinion, own opinion. and you can argue out and you read out reasons why you have this opinion. I I give you full marks. I am not pleased if I remember that I was the, the person who got the next part, but I kept it for my 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 question, and that person was <coughs> completely opposite to the idea that I have expressed. Because the argument so so well done, the factual factual reason that in that person's own context, the argument was perfect, the writing was so good. And the grammar was so good, I had to be marks. I cannot stop giving marks. And we don't do that. We are quite aware that you are, you are attacking your own opinion. But you must defend it. You just can't write uh, frivolous things. Right? Candidates are required to answer four questions selected one from section one and three from section three, two. Candidates can select any mix of questions irrespective of the type from section 2. It doesn't matter. B, select the questions that you are best able to ask. So you have to be challenged now because the syllabus is very fine and very fast. You will say. You don't know how many questions are going to ask. Also, when you read from the classes, you know what questions are. Some are some are the same Each question will carry 25 marks, 
and pass mark will be 50. I am sorry, I, I forgot to insert the, this time I forgot to insert the marking scheme. If I remember correct, 60% for the content, 20% for the way you express your content, the order which you do that and 20% for your grammar and its syntax. Your spellings, I am very strict, I cut marks, right, you are not, no, no excuse. ISL will be testing on communication skills. The art of communicating clearly, concisely and intelligibly in English, not Singlish or not Tamilish. I am quite experienced. The moment I see, I know from where to start. As if my Singlish was not Tamilish, I can read. I get it from the language you use. I said some of those things uh, next time. Right? I am not ethnically biased, but the way you write, you write English. Not the English that you and I know. So when you learn English, I am going to talk about that next time. Okay, but English in particular. So it has to be in English. Uh, the art of structuring an answer, the beginning, the body and the conclusion. I will be making a presentation on that, right? The presentation and the flow. Transition from one point to another. Proper use of paragraphs. Writing grammatically correct English. Spellings. And more than anything else. More than anything else. What is it mean Answering to the point. This is what we take small three months. Once I was marking a paper and that lecturer uh, spoke, I will do the lecture before I start marking, spoke about conflict resolution. Right? And the question was on conflict resolution. And in the during the lecture he was speaking about uh, how to attack me. This particular answer script wrote everything about how to conduct a meeting and nothing about conflict resolution. How can I be marks? That person has not understood the question at all. Right? Because there was another person, uh, when I looked at the paper, for the first time, it was the first time in my life. I heard about what you call mind map. Just like in your life, I saw a mind map. You know what mind map is? How you take it from the top to the top paper. So I was highly excited to read the answer. I turned the page over. There was only one and a half pages of writing. There was nothing to do with mind map. Probably that person thought I will be marked for the mind map. I won't be marked for the mind map. The people write answers in point form. I will not be marked for point form writing. You are not supposed to write point form. You are write, you're supposed to write paragraphs. We are expecting an essay. We are right, expecting a written answer to a question. So be very, very Clear in your mind what you are what you're speaking of. Right? And don't write the way we speak. Don't write the way we speak. Learn the English properly. Let me elaborate on that at the next time. Right? Okay? And I am going to help you on that. The ethics and code of conduct. There's a new code of conduct which is slightly different to the old one. Still, we have eight, uh, eight processes in the ethics. Right? Please go through them properly. Uh, I have been actually proposing that we put some of the model answers to the, on the web post. I have not been able to do that. Even last time I got a paper, which was brilliant. And I love to put that on a on, on, on website. I couldn't have written that paper up. Brilliant. I couldn't have written that up. So there are very clear people, very clear people. And I want all of you to be that kind of Not anyone falling by the way. Right? 
to be able to, if you take all this advice to your head, I'm sure you can pass the exam. There are no problem. Issues affecting the society. So what are the issues? Social, economical, political, gender issues, behavioral science, national development, industry, commerce, role and response of the engineer as a member of society and as a professional, public perception of engineers, strengths, opportunities and threats to the profession, role of the civil society, environmental issues, emerging technologies, international affairs, I am fortunate that international affairs lecture was told was to be taken off. Governments, national policy and Sri Lankan economy, major infrastructure projects taking place and plan for the future. So we will be asking your opinion. Supply from the confidential projects. Right? So your opinion matters. You want to check, check. So you all can check the opinion and give you marks. Okay? <coughs> Also listen to the lectures on specific topics arranged by the ISL from time to time and in this series of lectures and last few years on few on which few questions can be directly uh, based on. Why do candidates fail in the B paper? The real reason. Sit, sit. Uh, I asked you have to see the past papers? No. You are failing by that time immediately. You are not paying any interest. You don't want to pass the reason. You know the reason? You have to work hard. You have got to work hard. Do you remember how you have worked work in the capital case? Sometimes at 3 o'clock in the morning also we have to work. Right? You are going to pass the exam. Okay, that one is alright. How did we study for the A-levels? Oh my God. I always tell you, the A-level exam is the worst exam I have ever made in my life. The toughest exam. One of the exams in the news, simple. The government is, if you had done that, and passed, why can't you pass this? So know something hard work. Work hard. So, we have found that if you don't work hard, you fail. If you don't prepare adequately, you fail. And to meet the requirements, as you did in the school days, you did in the science examination, you are not forwarding those. You worked in the field and you did hard, I know everything. You know everything, but you know how to read the word. You are forwarding how to write. You are forwarding how to express. Clear and concise. Just a four of words are not going to uh, get you any marks. Right? And too few words are not going to get you any marks. Do you remember that uh, famous story of a young boy? Uh, he was uh, given a restaurant in class. So the district officer was having a rough hope in the guy. So maybe he did one picture. And that picture was about four or five pages long or whatever. And he was asked to summarize his into one page or whatever page. He was asked for So uh, everybody was busy reading for the maybe half past one hour and then after two hours people were writing. Right? So finally, when the time came to and this uh, problem was going down and he was getting very worried because this guy was not writing anything, he was only reading and thinking, reading and thinking. Right? So at the time of the Pressure of marketing, they were going to turn in the market, and this guy gave the best of gave a 20 sheet, and the problem was very right. What did you like? What did you do? Come on, sir. Come on, sir. I said, what did you like? So your four pages, sir, is all into one page. So I will write a page. You want to come on, sir? I summarize that page into one paragraph. So where is the one paragraph? He said, I summon that page in the paragraph to one sentence. So where is the sentence? No, sir. I summon that page, the uh, sentence for one word. So I read that word. I forgot it. <laughs> and this comes up so bad with punish. Ah, that is the word. 
That is the way. So don't fight traffic. Don't fight traffic. Write something meaningful. Write something to convey the entire meaning. We have four pages, at least five pages, three and a half pages. We have good time to do that. Almost 40 minutes per question. Right? So they do not uh, read technical literature, you don't read national newspapers, international journals or sometimes you may not be simply interested in topics other than their own area of specialization. The problems faced by candidates, these are all from my own, own experience, right? The problems faced by candidates and their weakness have been idea to be the following. Very poor reading habits. If you don't read, how can you write? You are not got used to reading, how can you put it down in writing? What you want to express? So you have not got into the habit of reading, at least from today, start reading something. Okay? Lack of knowledge on common affairs, especially politics, economics, social issues. These are alien to us. We are very, very much immune to these kind of uh, topics. We think that is not a topic for us engineers. We are elite people. You are not politicians. I'm not, I'm not saying politicians are the best. I hate the politicians. Frankly, I hate the politicians. No problem. Right? But politics is important for all of us. Right? And now this is important for all of us. Social issues are important for all of us. So you've got to know these things. Economics is important to all of us. And the biggest problem I have seen is, as I showed, tell Broad before, inability to correctly understand the question. So we have a big problem. Inability to structure a response to a question. I'll show you some of the answers next time, right? Straight from the papers. Inability to write clearly and concisely. Problems with English language. Now, I may be too late, right? Do the last lecture. And I tell you one more thing. When I go to a new place in my CV, long career after six years, the one question I ask all my teammates, and not only this, some other stuff. I give them a free offer. Do you have any problem with English? Some of them say yes. We have problems with English. I immediately get them enrolled in a very good English class. A very really good English class in the British Council, in South Carolina, and from where I just came, clear. They have a very good English class. I'm an English teacher, right? Don't try to learn English from me. I will make a lot of mistakes. Try to learn English from a proper English teacher. Don't feel shy. I tell you, the oldest person who want to follow a class in English was 56 years old when I enrolled him for the English class. He was humble enough to say, I want to learn English. Don't be shy. Why do you be shy? I'm sure most of you do not have the opportunity to study uh, under good English teacher. But this happens in short term of good English teacher. So do it now. Do it now. But you will sacrifice. You will sacrifice some of your evenings to study in this course. The reward? You will be better standing in this class. And you will get at least a better point for you have to talk English. Right? So don't feel shy to go for English class and a proper English class. Right? Uh, yes. To overcome these problems, a series of lectures are conducted over three months in, uh, before the PR examination. ISM hopes that the series of lectures and interaction with the eminent resource persons will help the candidates to overcome their weaknesses before the examination. So I told you, I am free to accept your answers send to me to my email address i'll do the corrections on the same uh, paper itself so i prefer uh, 
uh, word documents you can write something i'll do the correction and send it back to you will this will help the candidates who come their weakness before the exam and enable them to face the paper with greater degree of confidence iesl will do its part what do you have to do attend these lectures as much as possible if you miss it look them up in the website read articles of national interest especially on engineering related issues and issues that impact the national economy international relations environment etc attempt the past papers and write answers to those questions and check with the resource persons if they would like to your feedback on your answers i will most certainly do so in my own subject areas so when the other lecturers come if you want to go and have a chat with them go and have a chat with them and tell them ask you ask them if they would like to accept some of your answer scripts and correct them and send them back most of them will do that if you are not quite good in english competent english please follow an english course because english is not our mother tongue remember that you are very fluent in singhala and tamil but we can't be fluent in english was english not our mother tongue when you were small we spoke in our own language and that has gone into our head so that is our language so english we have learned in a hard way do that don't be shy so i am not going to go to this uh, syllabus it was there let's look at these awful pictures and who is responsible tell me who is responsible who is responsible who is responsible this i don't hear any who is responsible for this ah No excuses. Same here. Who is this person? This? Huh? Oh, no, 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 Is that visual intelligence here? Are there building a service intelligence here? Those who approve building plans and those who are there for building plans, there are regulations that govern this kind of building, which are unsafe. <coughs> Sometimes, for sake of heritage, you have to preserve this building, like you are covering this court right now. You can preserve it most certainly, but make it safe for people to live. Right, is happening in uh, four. So municipal engineers are the sort of this. So don't put the blame on the civil engineers. This is supposed to be another man's uh, man-made worst disaster. Thousand one hundred lives were lost in Dhaka because of the hurricane. Now the Bangladesh is a very similar to Sri Lanka. You need to look at a boundary, you will think that it's a Sri Lanka. Right? You know, in the reason they walk, you can't identify the Sri Lanka and the other. Right? You are Chinese or even uh, you are Indian, you know, you can see that it's not a Sri Lanka. The way they walk. Pakistan, they are from, they look they they like us. They don't walk like us. One big thing is about Bangladesh is, until they start speaking, You will suspect for nine hundred and ten years later, right? The study in international university and uh, there were thirty five nationalities. The only after the other two years, the only people who might could not distinguish was the Bangladeshi from India. And I compare the difference between the Chinese and the Japanese and the Koreans. They look different, but not the Bangladeshi. Even their language is different. There are a lot of words that are people. Look at the number of people watching. 
That is faster. We are doing that. In the disaster, we convert the roof. Not to help. To see what has happened. So when you have the drink text that you are just we should carry That is, we enjoy talking about disaster. Right? So this is Bangladesh. Right? Looks very fun. Uh, I am very sorry that I, I, I should have kept, kept the this game in the newspaper. Uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday uh, newspaper. I should have kept a piece of this newspaper, but there was a very funny capture in this newspaper. You can see from where it is coming, Kung Shu. It's a Chinese picture. And there was a very funny caption on that. I should have kept that picture, but I am very, very sorry I could do that. So almost like a joke. Right? In Sri Lanka newspaper. What is this? Can you put laugh at them? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! Where is this? Sakha is in Sri Lanka. Now see, it's raining and people are walking with half a glass. Can you help them? What can help them? They all want to see that one. Recently I was going home and I I was stuck from Rathana to Karabhati, that's where I live, about Panama, Panama, the Panama. And he says, what are you? See, I'm Like when I came very close to my home, I realized there was a severe accident on the other side of the road. So everybody was not, they were not blind, they were looking at this accident. And the moment I passed that, they are all talking about in the accident. It's free life. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe for their own good. Maybe for learn something. So maybe learn something from this. So the, why did I show these things? Why did I show this? To, to tell you a very, very important matter. If the technologists and technicians try to do the job of engineers, this will happen. And you guys are going to be chartered engineers, full members of the IESL, who are capable of doing good designs. Right? That's why I'm putting you through a vigorous test to check your ability to do good work. We, uh, but uh, are we prepared to face challenge? You said yes. We can confidently say that engineers in Sri Lanka will not let this happen. Can we say that engineers in Sri Lanka will not allow this to happen in our country? Can ISL assure that our child engineers are in a position to avoid this kind of disasters? The answer is in your hands. The last time that you are testing you to do a good job properly, perfectly, to the best of your ability. So ISL will continue to try to upgrade the standard of professional engineers. How about some general knowledge? Shall I have a quiz? What is SIPA? SIPA Pawan. Huh? What is SIPA? Anybody? Huh? SIPA, SIPA, SIPA. We put a topic shouting from the rooftop of SIPA. SIPA, 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 SIPA. Huh? Comprehensive? Economic Partnership Agreement. Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. Fantastic. I'm happy. But a lot of you didn't know. Why NATO? No action talk only. Why NATO? Not that that is the organization. What is GATT? GATT. What is GATT? What is that? Gone. Is that anyone who is deported and exporting? Yeah, I can be someone. You know what is that? You know. Everybody knows for that? 
Please help the others, come on. If they want to improve, please help. Don't be shy, we are all in the same boat. Nobody knows that this is too long, you tell. You know, right? I can see somebody walking here. Sex. You know? You don't know. I'm not going to. You know who I'm talking to. Yeah, you. You know? You know. Everybody knows cats? Hmm? Or cat, 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 cat. Everybody? Don't know. Any case? How do you do it, pray? Right? You guys are pray. Any case? No. It's not good. It's not good. You should know these things. In general agreement on trade and tariff. So they are, you can't be putting in track this, uh, report you this, this and that trade, they are general agreement. Right? So this get stamps are general agreement on trade and tariff. Sapta. Sapta Kanya. What is Sapta? South Asian Federation. Good. Then what is uh, <coughs> SAFTA? Our free trade agreement. ETCA. Economic and trade cooperation agreement. Hey, sorry, economic and technology cooperation agreement. Good. Now these are a bit old figures, but the figures are written from. We have not been able to cross the 65% mark. Okay, this is a pretty old. I don't want you to update this chart or it's good because I can't get it. And I have looked at the marks in the last few years. They are not good. They are not good. Please make sure that at least 75% of the people who sit the deep paper pass. Because so I am talking of people who have got at least four years experience, not when we have more than four years experience. And you are judging on general matters. So you are judging on your ability to write English. And I told you what to do if you don't know your English. You will now go for a nice class of water and learn your English properly. There will be some papers that will be ashamed that these uh, people who are uh, four or five years of experience are writing this kind of thing. I will say that people. Straight from the atmosphere. <laughs> so if you write properly, if you uh, English is good, and if your content is good, it's not a big deal about the success. I know so many young fellows who have taken my advice, driving on prison, and they have passed their exam. Right? So we are doing everything possible. I told you I sacrificed today, this is my third lecture of the day. And I am already had lectured about uh, 4 plus uh, 2, 6 hours. It will last 2 hours. Right? So 8 hours of lectures today. Not a joke. It's not a joke. We are doing all this to help you. So what is your Patichariya? Where is your Patichariya? We can be happy if you pass 70 percent. We need that. How many exams you have faced? But unfortunately, these things still happen. <clears throat> can you assure us that this will not happen again? Anyway, you have no choice. I said this had not to tolerate this anymore. To write the correct question number. Sometimes people write question number 10 and answer question number 5. Can there be any responsible engineers like this? You don't believe this? Still people do that. I told the secretary to give them zero marks. Right? To write the correct index number in all pages. Sometimes the pages might lose, get loose and then we are in difficulty to uh, put them together. There are cases who do not write the index number at all. I found some cases. To write the correct question number to which they have answered, 
Some do not fill this page. Proper handwriting. My handwriting is not good. My handwriting is not good. But whatever I write, people understand. That's a trick. Since that time, I tell you, for the victim. When my handwriting is not good, my mother was always blaming for not bad handwriting. I was struggling and struggling, struggling to write good handwriting. Still, I can't write good handwriting. I found an article for those who do not write good handwriting. Right? Is there a mark of it to show you what I mean? Now, see, it's quite understand. I show you some of the papers uh, later, which you can't read. The trick is this. And let me tell you, uh, the next chapter of 11 of this. These days, most of you write handwriting in the improper way. The lesson I got from that particular article was wrong. It said, if you are not putting your handwriting, you can't do it at all. But you can do something so that others will read what you write. Only one thing. Only one thing. Unfortunately, I can show you because there is no mark of it. Right? That's bad. Oh yes, there is no mark of it. How many of you write A like this? How many write B like this? Right? How many write B like this? <coughs> right? How many people write B like this? All of you say. All of you say. I'll guarantee you. I'll, if I call you write from the words here, I'll see how they say. The trick is, if you write that in, even if you write brilliant handwriting, sometimes people will be interested. That was the guy who wrote me like this always. I gave marks, I gave no marks. <coughs> I later found out it was like a B. And later I didn't find it, it was E or L. So I would have my brain to see if it's that E or L. Always, when you are small, you are now able to recite books. And there are small books to shoot. When you are in grade 1, you are told how to write letters, both singer and English. Right? You are never told how to write A like this. You are never told how to write B like this. Right? We were taught. To write letters like this, A like this, B like this, B like this, C like this. I will guess, I'll bet you, I'll bet you, that what I think the system is working. Right? I'll bet you. 55 of you write the letters in the wrong way. 55 of you will write the letters in the wrong way. You can turn it to that. But you have it in bad. Nobody could understand what you write. There's something that you can do. No, no. I know you have given some of this. I don't talk to your family. And you have to do this in secret. Before you go home today, go to a bookshop, buy the handwriting book meant for great bunch of I'm serious. Pretty serious. And wait until your children are seen. Otherwise, you still will say, after you add the hump, and the year will go here. Only now he is learning to write. He 
please take it sir. At least I am the oldest man in this group. I don't care what you are doing right. I am old enough to be there. Please, start writing the letters correctly. Start writing the letters correctly. If you want to write the throwing hand, then this is our way to write. Right? I have seen people writing S by this. Okay, I'm right. Then also I have seen the same people writing B like this. What is A for me? I don't know. I don't know. Right? So please, ladies and gentlemen, however old you may be, you may be uh, 28 years, 30 years, 32 years, 40 years, 42 years. If you believe that you are not writing the letters correctly, correct yourself. Correct yourself. Right? There's no excuse for you. Well, take that book today. Go to any bookshop. And then that, yeah, you want to buy this book for your five year, five year old child who is trying to write together. Right? And get that. All singer English have been all letters. Write it the proper way. That is how I work in my problem of bad and right. Try to understand. And from that point onwards, nobody said that they can't be tried The only thing is, I write the formation of the letter correct. <coughs> when your formation of the letter is correct, even if you have bad handwriting, people will still it. I have seen beautiful handwriting, but if the letters are incorrectly, I can't read. The company is written like printed. And they print like printed. I, I, I can tell you from the example, right? Printed is that word. It was beautiful. Okay, who can do that when he's in the But you can't read it. Well, then you the wrong way. Please understand this. Nobody would have told you this until today. I'm sure nobody would have told you all this today. But I'm telling you because I, I have a problem with my hand. But of course, I always show the correct way from the beginning, but I start telling it even more. Right? So, uh, that's something very important. Handwriting is important. Uh, read the instructions clearly before start writing. Some people answer five questions. And some people answer two questions on the section mark. You are going to get marks. I think last time also I gave only marks for three questions because... Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. So I am ending up with a nice picture. Okay? So be innocent, accept your faults, be able to correct your faults, and face the challenge. And then you say, I am going to punch this sector in face. And I am going to teach these guys a lesson. By being smart than And that's what you want to do. Okay, you accept the challenge. So all the best and good luck.